And a good day all of you, John Henderson, Pierre the Beverage Ramble, back again with you, another Beverage Ramble edition. Today from our friends at Sweetwater, it is the Triple Tail Tropical IPA. 5.5% ABV, uh, picked this up, uh, where I got this, Local Vine, and um, started kind of a poor man's total wine, but they really got a lot of great stuff there, so... Um, for Sweetwater now, it's big boy, Sweetwater now, they're not a craft beer company, anyway, uh, now they're owned by a Canadian health company, big boy, big boy, big boy, and I think they also have a brewery now in, in um, out in Fort Collins, Colorado, or New Belgium is, so, anyway, the Tropical IPA, uh, again, 5.5% ABV. Uh, 3.8, uh, you know, 3.6 out of 5 on untap and an 85 score. Very good on Beer Advocate. I don't use rapier scores because rapier is full of you know what. And I'll leave it right there. How they score their beers, I don't know. But anyway, here's what the beer looks like. A little bit somewhat hazy. Of course, it's a very bright day today. You know, it was raining earlier just this morning, but the sun has really come out. Very humid today. I'm going to go walking after I do this and eat dinner. Anyway, there it is. Tropical approach to an IPA style. Triple tail weeds, juicy and bodacious hops with notes of papaya, pineapple, passion fruit, and lush hop forward IPA. Um, these styles are around, are very popular now. The last two, no, I say two years. I say the last six years now. Um, Terrapin had the Lu, the Lu, Luau uh, Pugs, which is um, another, of course, big boy company now owns them. Molson Coors, similar style. Anyway, definitely papaya, definitely pineapple, all that. So let's have at it. Cheers. Ain't bad. 5.5, pretty good. Definitely the passion fruit, definitely the pineapple, definitely the papaya. A minimal bite to this bitter. I guess only using maybe one single hop, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, not much. Uh... I wouldn't call this a New England style IPA, which tend to be, or East Coast, which tend to be more fruit forward. But the hops are underlying in uh, on, on the bottom. But bad, you know, it's not bad. You know, I, you know, thirty-five international bitterness units. Um, I need nothing really. You know, spectacular about this. You know, I've had a style, well, several styles like this. Um, say the, new, the Voodoo Ranger, the Belgian, that, the Juicy Force. Um, uh, new Realm has a few of these. Um, Even Rogue and a few other, there's a few other companies that have had, had the similar style. And then, of course, I mentioned the Terrapin Luau. Um, they're a tropical IPA. So, I mean, it's good. Four point uh, five point five percent. Nothing heavy. You know, good set, good session IPA. Which I, I look at those from that ABV from four on the locale ones up until eight. You know, up until seven. I consider them session. That's just me. But oh well. Uh, as I mentioned, Sweetwater, of course, I've been to the brewery, um, 420 Pale Ale, their regular IPA, their Hazy IPA, and um, their blueberry beer uh, called Blue. Um, and, of course, there's the Imperial Pale Ale that they have, the 420 Imperial Red, which is really phenomenal. So I think those are right now are their core core beers that they have. So... Um, 
And of course, as I mentioned, they're owned by a health food company, a medical company that deals with cannabis up in Canada. Of course, all their beers I've had, um, I have not been disappointed by any of them. Um, but I'm sure, like many companies, they'll kind of streamline, okay, you know, let's just, we'll experiment, try different things, but also we want to make sure we keep our core beers going. Um, the Almond Milk Stout is another one. Um, I don't think they've done an Imperial. If it is, it's probably sold on draft. But um, I do need to make another trip down there. And it's a real nice little spot, you know, way off in the back of downtown Atlanta. Nice little area. People can bring your dogs in and sit there, chill, play games, and you know, watch the games, with some music and whatnot. So it's a really kind of vibrant spot. So I'll probably make another visit there, maybe this, not this week, maybe the week after, Master's Week, you know. But, hey, but overall, like I said, this is not, this is pretty good. I've had this style before, so I'm not like all, ooh, excited. Yeah, but it is a style that is, you know, I've been a dead horse about this oversaturation of IPAs, which there is, but. I can get into a little tizzy about that, so I'm going to let that ride. So, anyway, wrap this up real quick here. Um, I'll go the same score. Yeah, I'll go 8.4. So, this is a B for me for the Sweetwater Triple Tail, their tropical IPA. Check it out. I'm sure the streets for Sweetwater is very good because you could get them anywhere. Not just here, but anywhere across the country, so... There you go. Sweet water, triple tail, tropical IPA, 5.5 beers. Check it out. You may like it. Hopefully you do. John Anderson, Pierre, the beverage rainbow. So keep on watching. As always, cheers, live, laugh, and love. Triple tail, sweet water. Oh, yeah. Triple tail.